what is up welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm gonna be doing another chanel video i'm constantly always posting chanel on my instagram showing you guys her commands that she has learned and a bunch of you guys always dm me asking me how did i train her so quick she is only 12 weeks right now meaning two and a half months i thought to go ahead and just show you guys how i trained her i am no professional and this video is probably gonna be like all over the place you guys asked for tips and i'm here to show you guys exactly what i did it is my first time having a puppy or ever having a pet at that and somehow some way i'm doing great with her a lot of you guys had a bunch of questions one of them being what breed is she and i don't know if you guys can guess but i'm gonna give you a second to go ahead and comment down below what you think her breed is she is a mix of four breeds i did get german shepherd i did get husky she is actually a pitbull shih tzu beagle and king charles spaniel mix I'm pretty sure you guys can see the beagle. I'm gonna put in a clip right now of her face and you can definitely see the beagle or maybe like the pit bull and definitely the king spaniel ears. But yeah, she is those four breeds mixed and a bunch of you guys were asking me if she's gonna grow. As you can tell, she has gotten way bigger than the last video and it's only been I think like a week or two weeks since that video was filmed and she is gonna grow to a medium sized dog, maybe like small medium because she is growing like this she's not growing like this she's growing very tall in my puppy haul if you haven't watched that then make sure to go ahead and watch it right here or right here i showed a pink 19 inch bag travel bag that i got her and she doesn't even fit in it anymore not because she ran out of space this way but because her head touches the top and she's like like mad squished in there she has so much space going this way but this way she just just doesn't fit in it anymore she's like not comfortable in it anymore her legs to begin with was so freaking long i'll put in a baby video of her right here so that you guys can see one how different she looks and two how damn long her legs were to begin with i love her long legs she's like so sassy with them the way she sits she even like crosses them because they're so damn long she has no idea what to do with them this is exactly what i mean by when i say her legs are so long she has no idea what to do with it she literally just lays flat just like that my cousin was the one with the litter another question you guys have been asking where did you get the puppy i got her from my cousin's litter she had two litters i was never interested in even getting a puppy to begin with anyways enough of me chit chatting i say let's just go ahead and get into the video so we're gonna start off by giving her some wellness soft puppy bites because these are her favorite out of all the ones that i've tried she likes this one the best she's right here this is chanel she has gotten so big and keep in mind that she will be growing to medium size so this isn't even half of it and i cannot wait to see her transformation right mommy oh my goodness oh my goodness he's so cute so this is a fresh pack which she smells it sit good girl so i'm gonna show you guys what she knows a bunch of you guys on my instagram telling me stories about how your puppy has ran with things in their mouth and she has as well fun fact is i play with her before i give her any type of treats to make sure she's worn out so since she's sitting already i'm gonna go ahead and just make her lay and the way i do that is i literally just put it right directly under her chin and i go to the floor and she automatically lays i don't introduce the word to her i just continue to do the same thing so that she knows she needs to lay sit chin and down to the floor after two times of giving them the treat without saying the phrase you can introduce the word lay to them before i got her i took literally notes in my notebook as to the schedule i was gonna be on for her and how i was gonna train her and stuff good girl <laughs> she's like maybe i need a lay good girl you're so cute here as far as teaching her how to do up up what i do is i put it directly above her nose and automatically when a dog sees a treat they're gonna jump for it they're gonna run for it whatever it is they're going to want the treat so i put it directly above her nose to a point where she cannot touch it 
or eat it or grab it so that she knows that she has to reach for it and she has to jump up up good girl up up good girl so as far as sit, I literally trained her sit in one week. She's gonna drink water now. <laughs> the way I did it was I put it above her nose and I pushed it a little back so she automatically sat. I did that around three times and then I started to introduce the word sit to her. So we're gonna make her do up, up one more time. Up, up. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. So you guys seen how I put it right above her nose and then put it back and she automatically sat. Sit. Good girl. Come here. Sit. Good girl. So that's what we're going for. She just recently learned paw as well. My boyfriend actually teached her paw. Um, we came from his house. Right, mommy? Right? Right? Yeah. Yeah? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so he taught me that the trick with paw is putting it right in front of her nose. Paw. Good girl. They will try to grab it with their hand considering it's right above their nose. But as soon as you see any motion with your dog's paw, you want to say paw and kind of repeat it and just do the same thing over and over. Dogs like routine. Paw. Good girl. Paw. Good girl. Water? So these are like her all-time favorite biscuits. Like, look at her. She is going crazy. But I bought these at Petco, and I'll put the name of the biscuits that they are right here. I just put them in a Ziploc bag. This whole bag was full, but between her and her brother, they love it. Up, up. Good girl. After she does the deed of what you want her to do, then you'll say good girl or yay and pet her or something encouraging so that he or she knows that she did something good and something that you like so that every time you say that one command, good girl, they know that they did something good and you'll reward them whether that be with affection or treats. Lay. Good girl. Paw. Good girl. So we're gonna go ahead and try to do down. I'm gonna put the treats right here in between my legs. So the way I got her to basically go down, she's still working on it obviously, and please be patient with your dog. Remember that they hear you. So when you say things like sit, don't be in their ear, or don't yell at them, or don't get upset, they hear you. So you really just have to be patient with them and wait. To be honest, I don't know if this is the professional way of teaching them down, but the way I did it was one day I had food. I just slightly pushed her off just a little. As soon as I did that, I was like down and I kept doing that so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm saying I literally just went like that really soft and then I was just like down good girl and you also want to have treats with you um, sometimes wherever you go obviously it is good to train them without treats because not everything is about treats hi mommy girl oh my goodness you are so damn cute I cannot up up down up up down Good girl. So I thought to go ahead and show you guys our treat box. This is literally all the treats that we give them. Most of them are wellness and we literally have all different kinds of flavor. We have so fucking much. Like me and my mom went ape shit because she also has a dog. These puppy teeth rings, they freaking love. Like Chanel went through a whole bag on her own. The next clip that you guys are about to see is from later in the day, which is why I have on jeans. This was her feeding time. I thought to show you guys how I got her to be calm and not crying and jumping and hollering and howling when she sees food. It's actually her time to eat, eat. and I have her food right here. Look at her bandana because she was literally going crazy a second ago as soon as she saw me with her bowl. This is exactly what I don't want her to do. <laughs> I want her to be patient. Like the food is coming. Oh my goodness. The way I got her to be like this instead of exactly what you guys seen was I basically just told her to sit and I slowly put the bowl down. But every time that she tries to move towards it, I'll push it back or I'll say a hey, or no and like push it away and they'll automatically just sit back down to wait. Sit. Sit. 
sit. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Another thing is too, I like to pet her while she's eating so that she gets comfortable with that. Or I like to move her bowl around just so that she doesn't get aggressive. This is just um, what I've been doing and it's been working great. You don't want to say hi today? Mm, I love you. I love you. Say hi everybody. Tired, I know. Are you looking at them? Say look at my ears. Look at my ears. Well, guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. It is probably all over the place. If you guys have any other suggestions as to videos as to what else I should film with Chanel, then let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in my next one. Bye.